Watch Global Inside. Hi, I'm your host, Kuryu Matsumoto. Thank you for watching us and watching over us. Welcome to Playfulness, featuring for two consecutive weeks, light and darkness. Today, we'll stay focused on uh, light. Light, my lord. And signify the justice because the light uh, goes up and kind of light. Um, uh, what goes up must come down, says who? Uh, wisdom, ancient wisdom says what goes up must come down. When the sun goes up, the sun goes down. When it goes down, the moon goes up and moon goes down. So, uh, the, the sun is uh, pretty sunshiny, the moon is moon shiny, dark shiny, silver moon, dark moon, uh, the moon is considered dark, uh, that's why the moon belongs to the Jomon culture, when the moon uh, covers everything. The moon, the light versus darkness, says who? God uh, belongs to light. Maybe if you go higher than God, you go to Lucifer, illuminating, illuminating things that gives rise to Armageddon. Uh, what is Armageddon? It's uh, if uh, two uh, titans fight each other, you end up uh, either on the right side or the wrong side. The winners take all. Losers lose all. Winners are just. Losers are unjust. What kind of justice is this? We're going to check with it. Protection versus prophecy. Uh, prediction is, uh, ba uh, can I say, uh, evidence-based, uh, scientifically proven, whereas uh, prophecy is something more divine, based on divinity, divine message. So that uh, I can't prove what I, what's going to happen to us, but uh, you must play hunch. Uh, to see what lies ahead. Uh, the other day, I had a chance to talk with uh, Mr. Gerald Curtis, uh, professor of Columbia University, after he gave a talk on the future of the United States at the uh, Foreign Correspondents Club uh, at the professional luncheon. And I said to the effect, uh, Professor, uh, what do you think would happen to the United States? The world is around. Uh, given the situation that uh, Hillary Clinton is crying uncontrollably, and a lot of people are, are not very happy, but Michael Moore is trying to debunk uh, Donald Trump, and uh, something has to give, that I predict that uh, there might be a civil war. He said, not a chance. He said, uh, uh, civil war is not going to happen. I said, is it probable? or possible. He said that it's neither probable or possible. It never happens. But he uh, added that uh, there might be violence. Yeah, violence, but I went to say the Civil War. So uh, here are these Christ babies might come back uh, with the help of uh, George Soros, who financed uh, the Clinton so heavily and Michael Moore might give him uh, moral support. So, you know, this is the case. Now, America is not a good thing. It's 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 a good Touch and go versus touchy feely this. MBAs uh, landed on Japan, business world. 
MBAs are kind of aloof, but they, nobody listens to them anymore because their thinking is way above the clouds, whereas in Japan, what comes most touchy feeliness. And the feeling and the caringness and thoughtfulness, whereas uh, MBAs and a lot of uh, foreign scholars are very cerebral. But uh, Michael Moore is trying to bring back to the United States. It's a sort of a touchy feeling. It's where Donald Trump might bring us a touch and go feeling. It is a hitty hitty versus a pity pity, a touch and go. And uh, there will be a confrontation between the two camps, uh, Republican versus the Democrats. And the time will come when they really have to fight each other like hell. Uh, my philosophy, uh, Professor Gerald Curtis is, uh, is on the right side. If he's on the right side, he's an optimist. I prefer to go pessimistic. Uh, uh, my prediction. The case for that is that uh, there will be another civil war in the United States within the four years before uh, Donald Trump's tour of office expires. Uh, the Battle of Sekigahara. Uh, why? Three reasons. Color divide, money divide, and sex divides. And uh, the major arguments, number one, the history repeats itself. Look at the history of the Roman Empire. Shionanami says that uh, nearing the end, the demise of the Roman Empire is pretty much close to what's happening in the United States. Uh, Barack Obama is a person of color, and this is exactly the same uh, person of color was chosen as the last uh, uh, emperor of the Roman Empire. Number two, Rabbi Batra, prophetic professor that I know him in person, he stated to the effect there might be a, a civil war by the end of uh, 2012, but the end of the United States never came. But is uh, America uh, sound, which I doubt? It is virtually dead. Uh, debt-ridden, even the educational crisis. A lot of crisis, uh, this might bring down the prosperity of the United States. So number three, it's beyond my scientific analysis. It is purely based on my intuitive judgment. I might call it the divine message, uh, theory of entropy. え、ちょっと時間の停止、エントロピーまで行っちゃいましたけど、熱力学の法則というのがありまして、第一の法則がどんどんの広がってきて、コンプライアンスがいっぱいになります。コンプライアンスが大きくなると今度は弱くなります。
黒人が出た時に問題が起こってるんですよね。誰も言ってませんが、これは必ず反動、アクションによってはリアクションがあります。物理学の法則ですよ、サイエンスですよね。それと私が言いました、そのエントロピーの法則もありますけども。で最後にアメリカが勉強しなきゃいけないのは何かあったらフレネミーシップ腹ですねアメリカ腹がない頭とマインドだけいきますからもう勝った人は 100% か負けた人は 100% 負けこれだからアメリカのディベートはダメなんですよね私前も言いましたアメリカ人に日本のディベートどう中論どうというのをやらなければアメリカはディベートで滅びるぜよということを言ったんだけどここでもう一度申し上げたいと思います。はい、もう少し日本語で喋らせてください。日本間でですね、今日はテーマは Light、光え。光があれば影があると。Light and Shadow、Light and Darkness と同じなんですけど、キリスト教が両方に書いちゃったんですね。ソクラテスは自分がディーモンだって、これは鬼ですよね。それがクリスチャンがそれディーモンをデボンに書いちゃったんですね。困るんですよ。自然の力でガンガンやられると困るからもうそこを悪魔にしてしまってあ光昼は神様夜は悪魔に変えちゃったそこは大きな間違いですねこれは両方あるんですよね我々のディベート道というのは陰と陽ですからナイトンデイは対等に立ちますだから勝ち負けとかそういうもんじゃありません Light is good darkness is bad じゃありませんよね、そういう具合に、ボス A and B というのがディベート道の基本にあります。このディベート道を広げなければ、世界はこれはもう食うか食われるか、修羅場になります。ドッグイッドッグ、犬が犬を食うという仁義なき戦いが起こります。だからここはギブアンギブですよね。ギブアンテイクじゃありません。ギブアンギブ、こちらがギブする、相手もギブすると。これは二宮尊徳の五条の精神、水上の精神になります。こういうところが渋沢栄一とか、多分そういうところは今日のゲストと関連があると思いますが、アメリカ譲らなかったらとんでもないことになります。だから私はね、どん底っていうのはありがたいんですよ。ロー・リビング、L ワードはロー・リビング、ハイ・センキン、暮らしは低くとも、思いは高し。これがやっぱり最後の志につながると思いますね、私は今、暮らしはどん底です、助けてくださいって言っているような状況ですけど、ものすごく人生楽しい、悪いけど俺、幸せだよ。パワーイングレッシュ